you're probably the first person to be made a life member who's only 17 years old. Yeah. <laughs> um, some of us won't get that. From Colorado to Kettering in just over a week. Having beaten the Americans in their own backyard, it was time for a party back at Charlie Howell's hometown club, where her golfing journey began just over a decade ago. Can you remember that first time you hit a golf ball on this course? Yeah, I can remember. Um, I used to get tired, so my dad on his push pull trolley used to sit me on the golf bag and pull me around. And then it wasn't long before you were hitting the balls for real. I know, right, yeah. I remember when dad used to give me two shots in every hole, and then it was like one shot in every hole, then it was like one shot around, and then I could beat him off scratch. The freedom of youth, eh? What a oh. <laughs> Give it a smack. In the space of six months, Charlie's turned pro, finished second in five tournaments, made her debut at the Ladies' Open at St Andrews, and made history as the youngest player in the Solheim Cup. Are you telling me there wasn't a little bit of nerves when you were yeah, playing around I was, those? I was obviously going to be a little bit nervous, but nowhere near as nervous as I thought I would have been. Well, I didn't really... It's just one tee shot, you know? I just see it as that. The tee shot in front of millions, watched by thousands. Yeah, the party was really good, you know, but like, I'm still not old enough to drink, so maybe if I was 21 it would have been even more fun, but, you know, I was just uh, laughing at everyone, drunk and everything, so it was good. So they were having champagne and you yeah. were having... I was, they were having champagne, but I was spraying it on them. Watching with pride and admiration today were the many who had played with Charlie as a junior, including the professional who first nurtured this precocious talent. I can remember the first moment. It was with her dad. She was approximately seven years of age, and she was just a chirpy little girl, interested in playing golf. Um, and, of course, at that particular stage, we didn't know how good she was going to get, but she had tremendous enthusiasm. She was about nine, you know. She came down. There was, I think it was a medal. And could she have a game? And I thought, well, I'd better take this youngster out. Of course, she beat me hollow. Is there one standout memory? Yeah, I'll just say beating Paula Creamer. And just 17 years of age? Yeah. Can you quite believe it? Yeah, I can believe it now. I, sometimes I look back and I think, wow, but now I can believe it. Charlie now has two weeks off, time spent with the family back home and fine-tuning on the golf course. Photographers, beware. James Burridge, BBC Look East, Kettering.